Hello, Alicia. Good night. How are you today, Hello. Alicia? Uh, I'm great, and you? I'm a little hot. You know, it's very uh, hot. Today has been hot. Okay. Oscar, uh, how yes, are you today, yes, Oscar? It's true. Oscar, can you activate your microphone? Your microphone, please. Can you activate your audio? What happened? Did you have problems trying to enter to the Zoom? Hello, Vanessa. How are you? Oscar, how are you today? How are you, Vanessa? How are you, Veronica? Hi. Okay, very good. So we have four students so far. Okay, Veronica, how are you? Uh, very good, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. And Oscar, how are you, Oscar? Activate, activate your audio, Oscar. Oscar, can you activate your audio, Oscar? Uh, Oscar got out. He's, maybe he had some problems. So how was your day today? Yeah. How? How was it? Mm -hmm. Was it a beautiful day? Was it a busy day? Was it an interesting day? Was it a bad day? Was it was a it busy day? A busy day. Busy day. A lot of work. Yes. Yes, a lot of work in the morning and in the afternoon too. Okay. And Veronica, how was your day today? Um, the same. Um, 
busy. You no, know, very, very busy. Very busy. Um, yes, with a lot of stress. Oh, it was a stressful, a stressful we, day. Okay, and Vanessa? Stressful. Okay. A stressful day. A stressful, stressful day. And Vanessa, how was your day? My day kind of stressful too. Kind of stressful, okay. It seems like uh, every day is uh, stressful now. Hello, Ninive. Yeah. How are you, Ninive? Activate your audio, Ninive. Hello. How are you today? How are you today? Fine. <laughs> Fine. Okay, very Fine. Good. Okay, and Jader, how are you today, Jader? Activate your audio, other. Jader. How was your day I, today? I have a day very hard. I work, I work every day, very, very busy. Very busy day, a yeah. stressful too. Yes. You know, uh, I, uh, I had a very, what, tiring day. Because, you know, just last night we finished at 11. But at 11, we have to wait that Zoom converts the video. And after he converts the video, we have to upload it to, ya, to uh, YouTube. And that takes an hour and a half, okay? So I went to sleep around 1.30 last night, okay? Oh. So this morning, and I cannot sleep, you know, after 6.30, I cannot sleep. So I have to wake up. I have to get up. I want, I'm tired, but I can't sleep anymore. So I got up and I started to do what <laughs> I do every day. Yeah, but uh, uh, during the day, I have a couple of naps, okay? I had a couple of naps, so I'm okay now, ready, okay? Okay, so, so um, let's start right now, six minutes, okay? So the first thing that I want to show you is what we already know. What we already know, okay, is the, okay, remember this is in Safor, it's a joint venture in Safor with Inglés Comparativo, and uh, is the National English for Work Program. We are in Intermediate Model 2, and I'm your facilitator, okay? So uh, unit number one is about product development. You know that, that is the topic. And something that I want to remind you, okay? Your attendance, you have to attend every night, okay? Because remember, we need to practice. A students must attend to sessions every day. Attendance will be taken twice on each session. And you should have your camera on when saying present. The students must say verbally, present teacher, all right? <laughs> now, uh, from the platform, you need to complete the task, the homework, okay? And it should be done daily. Tomorrow, tomorrow the class is about the practice, only practice about the whole week. So tomorrow we are going to be, okay? okay but if you can, Get into the platform and do the task. Task number one, two, three, and the one for today is task number four. So that is okay. task 1.1, 1.3, 1.5, okay? Weekly task completion grade will be uploaded weekly. So your grade from the, from the homework will be uploaded on Friday's night. So you have to complete it. Students should participate on the forum after every session. So let me show you how that works, okay? And today, the video conference is about SWOT analysis and product practice. So we're going to have a little product practice applying the SWOT. I will explain what is the SWOT. So the objective is to describe the application of each step of a SWOT analysis when assessing a new product idea. And perform a SWOT analysis to determine the feasibility of a new product. You remember yesterday we talked about feasibility. 
right? Factibilidad. Okay, very good. Now we have 10 students. Okay, let me welcome. Hello, Osman. Hello, Eugenia. Hello, good evening, teacher. Okay, Oscar. Good evening. Good evening. And Vanessa and Veronica and Yader. How is it, Yader or Yader? Yader. Yader, okay. Okay, very good. So, the next thing is, uh, after the, the objectives, we are going to see the, what is the agenda for today, okay? And the agenda is to review previous classes, introduce the topic, ask and answer introduction questions, listen, read, and role play a conversation, and watch a video about a Starbucks SWOT analysis. And at the end, we are going to run a SWOT analysis on a product that you decide. Is that clear? So that is today's uh, yes. agenda. Okay. So let me get back to, okay. So first review previous classes. Okay. So do you remember that I sent the link for the present perfect? You remember that I sent you a, a word page with the links? Is this? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I want you to go to this link, number six. I want you to go to link number six, please. Okay? Mm -hmm. Have it in your computer, link number six. Or on mm -hmm. your cell phone, link number six. Okay? I already have it for you. L link number six. Okay? So link number six is this one. Okay? Okay, so this is link number six. Okay, so the present perfect simple, you remember? The present perfect yes. simple is used if an action happened in the past and there is a connection to the present. Yes. And even could be a connection in the future too, maybe. But the condition is that it started in the past and is still active in the present. So this action has just stopped or is it still going on. There's no exact time expressed when the action happened. Keywords here are already, just, yet, ever, never, for, since, so far, up to now, not yet, lately, and recently. Tomorrow, we are going to practice because all the classes <laughs> practice tomorrow. So we're going to have practice. We're going to practice the simple present all tomorrow. Okay. How do you form the present perfect? Are you with a plus have plus past participle? You remember past participle? Yes. He, she, and it plus has plus past participle. Example, they have visited her uncle recently. She has just baked an apple pie. Is that clear? Okay. Yes. Door forms, contractions. I've, we've, you've, they've. The contraction. And for he has is his, and for she has is she's. So I never been there before. We've studied a lot so far. He's worked in this shop lately. He's found his wallet. So remember, people that speak English use contractions in conversations. Okay? So now negations okay are you we they have not the contraction having he she and it has not the contraction hasn't and the past participle so they haven't tidied up their room so far 
Tidy it up is clean and organize. Tidy, tidy up, clean and organize. So they haven't tidied up their room so far. He hasn't finished his homework yet, okay? In questions, we use have you, have we, have they, have I, have you already done your homework? And if it is, if the subject is he or she, has she or has he, plus the past participle. How long have you been there? If you need question words. So you use the present simple in the past. Nick has gone on holiday. He has already met Sue. He has just eaten something bad. He has lived in Spain for 10 days. He has been in Spain since Friday. Have you ever been to Italy? Okay, so we are going to do exercises. So I want you to click on exercise number two. Okay, but I want you to have it on your, on your uh, cell phone or on your computer. I need you to click here. So we are going to do this exercise, okay? But I need you to have it in your computer because I'm going to break you down into groups. Is that clear? Hello, is that clear? Hello? Hello, hello, people. Talk to me. Turn on your, turn on your audio, please. Turn on your audio. Can, can you share the links, please? Yes. Yeah. Again, please. Okay, so I will go back, okay? Look, the link is this one. Okay, so it's link number six. Link number six. Link number six. Okay? So go to link number six. And when you get to link, to link number six, you're gonna have this. Okay, you're gonna have this. Uh -huh. So you're gonna have this. When you link, when you go to link number six, uh oh, what happened? Uh -huh. When you go to link number six, you're gonna have this page. So you go, you scroll down, you scroll down, and then you come to exercise number two. For you, it will be good that you do all the exercises, okay? So exercise number two, you click on this, you click on this exercise, and this is what you're gonna have. Okay? Do you have it? Yes. Yes? Okay, let me see. Do you have it, Eugenia? Veronica, do you have the, the exercise? Yes, I have. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Bessie, do you have the exercise, Bessie? Turn on your audio, Bessie. Blanca, do you have your... Do you have the exercise? Turn on your audio. Yes, I have, teacher. You have it. Okay, very good. Oscar, do you have the exercise? Turn on your audio, yes. Oscar. Yes, I have it. Yes, okay, very good. Osman, do you have the exercise? Yes, I have it too. You have it too, okay. Very good. Blanca, you have the exercise? Yes. Blanca, do you have the exercise? Yes, teacher. Okay, Eugenia, do you have the exercise? Turn on your audio. Yes, Eugenia, I have. Sorry. You have it. Okay, Rafael, yes, do you I have the exercise? I did, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Do you have this exercise? No? Yes. Yes, sir. you have it. Okay, very good. Raul, do you have the exercise, Raul? Yes, yes, I did from the platform. 
Okay, very good. No, but this one, this one that is on the on the board, that is on the screen, this exercise. Okay, let me show you. You remember that I sent you this page. Okay. You remember that I sent you this page. So this is exercise number six. From this page, exercise number six. So you click on it and it's gonna come over here to this page. Okay, it's gonna come to this page. I don't have this page, teacher. What page you don't have? Number six. That you show in the screen. This one? Yes. Okay, that one, when you come over here, you have this page? No. I send it to you. Oh, email. No, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, but I don't okay. have this. Okay, um, yeah. okay, so what you're going to uh, do is. No, the gonna, document. You are you going to load. Hello. Link. You are going to load this link in Google. Put this link in Google and click enter. Yes. Okay, so when you do that, you're going to come to oh. this page. Okay. Veronica. Yes. Do you hear me, Veronica? Yes. And the chat is the link. Yes, I, I received, uh, but I am asking for the old link. Uh, okay. For, for the page. Uh huh. But, th yeah. but thank you. Yes, Jader, share the, the link. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and okay. also, and also, I send you, I send you an email with the, with uh, with all the links. Okay. I send you an email with this, right? I send you an email with these links, okay. So you go to link number six, you click on it, and then you're gonna have this page. So you scroll down, this is the explanation, okay? So if you want to see it more closely, and then you click on exercise number two. Thank you, Betsy. That's Taiwan. Oh, Thank you, Betsy. Thank you. Welcome. That's me. Your microphone. Microphone is me. Microphone. Teacher, your microphone. Teacher, we don't hear you. Okay, now, okay, very good. Okay, there you so, are. we said Mr. Snow is she. So, she has, and what is the past participle of make? What is made. the past participle of made? Made. 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 Mr. Made. Snow has made a fantastic cake. Is that clear? Very good. Now we are going to do yes. number two. Debbie. Debbie is yeah. she. So she. Hello, she. I'm sorry. She. Has. She has. She has. And what is the past part? She has. Part? She has. Uh huh. She has. She has. Bought. She has bought. Okay, so she has. Bought. Bought. She has bought a new bike. Okay. Bought. 
Okay? So, you are going to do... Okay, I'm going to go back. Listen carefully. You are going to do exercise two and exercise one. Okay, when you finish exercise two, when you finish that exercise, you come to exercise one, okay? And do exercise okay. again, okay? Also, exercise one okay. is questions, okay? When you're gonna come to exercise one, okay? And you are going to do the same thing, okay? Take a look, take a look. Okay, write down the questions and the short answers. So they ask you the Coopers, they, okay. the Coopers, they. So it's a question. What is, how do we ask that question? How the Coopers have uh, arrived? Have yet. yet. Okay, and remember the question. Have the Coopers arrived yet? Uh -huh. Have the Coopers arrived yet? And the answer is? Right. No. They. No, they haven't. They haven't. Haven't. They haven't. Correct. No, they haven't. Period. Okay, the period is right there. You see, the period is right there. Okay, so no, they haven't. Okay, so you are going to do all these questions. We are going to do one more. Okay, now. Okay. You, have you ever been uh -huh. to Sweden? Okay. Have you ever been to Sweden? Uh -huh. But everybody participate, please. How is okay. it? Okay. Everybody. Sorry. Uh -huh. How is it? Sorry. Uh -huh. And remember, always start with a capital letter. Siempre uh, comience con una mayúscula. Have you? Yeah. Have you ever? Have you ever been? Been, right? Because the past participle of be. And to Sweden. Okay, and question mark. Have you ever been to Sweden? Yes. I have a question. Uh -huh. We are back on track. Don't panic. Okay. So what is your question? Hello, what is your question? My question is, have you ever been in Sweden? No. Not to Sweden. I don't no. know. Uh, no, when we ask the question with been, okay, so to Sweden, that means uh, you, can ask, you can ask the question with both prepositions. Okay, but here they ask, I'm going to say in Spanish, when you say, have you ever been to Sweden? Ha estado, ha estado alguna vez eh, ido a ¿Ha usted alguna vez ido a Sweden? That's what it means when you say be. Ido. Ajá, ido. Okay, like go. Ido. That is the meaning here. That is the meaning. But also it has the meaning of be. ¿Ha usted, al, ha estado alguna vez usted en Suecia? So that is? Eh, In Sweden. Sweden. So both are possible, but with different meaning. Okay. So yes, what is the answer? Yes. Yes, I have. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in the short answers, in the short answers, we cannot make contractions. Okay. In the negative, yes, we can make contraction in the negative, but in affirmative, I have to say yes, I have, which is incorrect, which is not correct, is to do this. This is incorrect in the short answer. Okay. In the short answer. Now, if you answer okay. long answer, yes, I've been to Sweden is correct. But in the short answer has to be, yes, I, I have. have. Okay? Okay, so, thank you. Okay, so you, I'm gonna break you okay. into groups. 
Okay, so you are going to do exercise one and exercise number two. Is that clear? Exercise one, when you okay. do exercise yes. one, you go to exercise two. How you do it, you come over okay. here, you go back and do first exercise two and then exercise one. Okay, so let's go back to exercise two. Okay, okay. okay. And no, no. And I'm going to break you into groups, okay? Okay, teacher. Teacher, I can hear you. 16 participants. So we're going to make eight groups, okay? So you're going to work in pairs, okay? Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, join, please. Join, join the group. Join the group, please. Join the group. Uh -huh, very good. Annie, join the group. Annie, Nunez, Beatriz, join the group. Blanca and Veronica start working. Kenya, very good. Kenya and Eugenia start working, please. Alicia and Bessie start working. Oscar and Vanessa Armas, start working, please. Madeline and Yader, start working. Very good. Okay, start working. Yader mandó lo que era el primer ejercicio. But not Spanish, ni ni Not Spanish, English only. Pero, eh, no. Okay, no Spanish. Remember, if we speak <laughs> if we speak Spanish, it's gonna happen like the people that go to Los Angeles, they always speak Spanish, <laughs> they live 20 years in the United States and they never learn English. Why? Because they got used to speak Spanish. So let's speak English. Okay, so do you have the exercise. <laughs> Do you have the exercise? Oh my God. I don't have the exercise. Uh, uh, I have the links. Okay. Uh, Can you see uh, it on the board? Can you see it on the board, on the screen? No. 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 Beatriz, uh, I, I will try to send you in the, in the chat. Uh, right Please. Here. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to go to another group. Okay. Teacher. Okay, when you're ready, I'm going to come back. Okay, teacher. Okay, right. so go ahead, practice. Okay. Radiation. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, stop. The topic is reducing adverse clouds. No, not that one. It's uh, the no. present perfect. Ah. The exercise, the present perfect exercise no, uh, link number six. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Link number six. Link number six, and then you scroll down and go to exercise number one. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh in the last one. Okay, very good, very good. Sandra has bought a lot of things for her birthday party, but she very but good. She, she has not make uh, made sorry okay we're gonna check yeah okay very good very good excellent excellent good work now go to exercise number two okay this one that one that one very good very good i can see that you are doing very good so i'm gonna go and see other groups okay okay bye you are doing very good so uh, Go ahead, keep on doing. Congratulations, okay? Keep on doing the good okay. work. Thanks. 
Exactly. Okay. Uh, now you. Okay. Very good. Now number three. I have. Uh, mm -hmm. I have. Haven't. But remember, I have. Very good. Remember that is negative. Very good. I haven't. Uh, feed is going to be. Let me check. Uh -huh. Fed. Let Fed. Me... Hey, very good. Fed, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. My little jet. Uh -huh, okay, very good. Uh -huh. the next one. Sally and Jenny have got. Okay, so God mm -hmm. has two, they have two past participles, got and gotten. So both are correct. Is that clear? Okay, yeah. okay. So yeah, oh, you okay. can say that have got or have gotten. So okay. Both are acceptable. Okay, then okay. I can. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I'm going to leave you because you are doing very good. When you finish, thank go you. to exercise number two, okay? Okay. Okay, okay thank fine. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Please, if I haven't, haven't, <laughs> not sure. haven't found. Um, yeah. Huh? The pupils have not uh, done. Okay. Okay, very good. What exercise are you doing? Uh, we have leaves the present tense exercise because we have a doubt. We, we, we... I am here to clear that doubt. What is oh, it? Thank you. Uh, what's the exercise we have to use? Because I have the list and okay. the if, if, perfect if you... example are two and the questions are three and... No. You go to link, if you are on the page that I send you that it says the simple present, so you go to link number six. Number six. Uh-huh, you go to link number six. You it's click. The, the, the red link. The color yeah, the red, red. yeah, exactly. The red link, number six. So you paste uh -huh. that on Google, click, and it will display one page. That is the explanation page. Yeah. You scroll and down. I have a 30, 30 links of the exercise. Yeah, but it, you, you are going to use only link number six. Right now, only yeah. link number six. I use the link number six and that um, display uh, a link when show me the exercise okay. at the end of the page and have 30 30 exercise present for a scenes and past simple or present. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. But uh, you're going to go to exercise first. You have exercise one. First. Ah, okay. The first, the first exercise. Present one. tense. No, the first exercise two. Ah, okay. So you click uh, on that one. The first exercise number two. Two. Uh-huh, exactly. Present perfect simple. Uh, exactly, exactly. Number one is Mr. Snow. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Okay. So that's the one that's... that you are going to do together. So let me see. Okay. Um, I'm going to share this link with, uh, with Kenya. Kenya, because... Kenya do you have the link? I don't have it. You don't have I it? Send, I sent you the link in, in, the, in chat, the chat, Kenya. Okay. In Kenya, get the, get the link and have it in hand. Okay. And after you finish uh, uh, exercise number two, so you go to the next link that is questions, Eugenia, question, and you click on exercise okay. number one. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Exercise number two is this link. So you, yeah. after when you finish this link with Kenya, you go to the next link that is on the bottom that it says question, exercise yeah. one. So you do that link too. Is that clear? We, we use this link and we finish, we have to use the exercise one of the present perfect questions. Exactly, exactly, okay. exactly. Very good, excellent. Okay, okay. I got it. Okay, Kenya, do you, do you have the link open? 
todavía no he entrado. Ok. In this exercise of the present perfect simple, uh, teacher, you show us uh, in the in the literal one is measure snow. Mm -hmm. um, the, the auxiliary verb. What is the auxiliary verb, Eugenia? I, I Remember, know. it's have and has. But for have that subject, what is what is the what is the auxiliary? Has. Mrs. knows is she, uh -huh, has. Has plus the past participle. The verb is in parentheses, right? So Mrs. Snow has. Um, make seria. Uh -huh. It's the past of make. Yeah, Mrs. Snow has made. That is correct. That is the past participle. Mr. Snows has made. Has made. Has made. That is correct. Okay, very good. Now, A fantastic you cake. Now, you do it. You do it right there in your computer, too. Okay? Okay, yes. I, I do it. Kenya, do you have the link display? Kenya, turn on your audio, please. Kenya, turn on your audio, please. So, do you have the page? Do you have the page, Kenya? Yes. Okay, so you do exercise number two. What is exercise number two? Debbie. Debbie, that is correct, Debbie. Debbie has. Debbie has. Uh huh. What is the main verb? Made. Made. Oh, let me wait. Let me see. Let me go to that page. Old. Debbie has. Uh -huh. Debbie has. Uh -huh. The verb is by Kenya. Kenny. So Debbie has. What is the past participle of by? But. Debbie has bought a new bike. Is that clear, Kenya? Debbie has bought a new bike. Has bought. Now, I recommend you, I recommend you to have, you remember that I sent in the page, in the page, the first link is a list of the regular verbs, irregular verbs. So I have that in hand too, okay? The link that it says number two. The first. No, number two. The second link. It says these common person, irregular per, verbs. Present perfect. Yeah, present perfect exercises. List of oh, most common sorry. irregular verbs. So the click on that verbs. one. Click on that one so you can have mm. the past participle of the verbs to in hand. Okay. I go. On. Do you have that link, Kenya? I can share you with you. I can okay. share you the link. Share, share it anyway, uh, Eugenia. Share the link anyway. Okay? Okay, so you do exercise number three. Um, okay, what is number three? I, Eugenia? It's not number fit. three? Uh, I, I in that. Um, notice, notice that in the parentheses is negative. Fed. It's negative, right? It's negative. I haven't fed. I haven't fed. I haven't fed. Uh huh. My little dog, yeah. My little dog, yeah. Very good, very good. So, Kenya, number four. 
Sería. <coughs> Sally, Sally and Jenny. Jenny. God. And, ah, and, and the auxiliary, Kenya. Kenny. What is ah. the auxiliary? Ah. Ah, but, but here are two people. So two people are they, not she. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Sally and Jenny have have had got a new CD player. Okay, very good, excellent, very good. Number five, oh. Eugenia. Um, haven't Chris haven't found? Wait, wait. Chris is Chris. is he. <laughs> What is the auxiliary for he? Hassan. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good, very good, excellent. Uh -huh. Sorry. So, Chris? Found wood for a rat. Aha, uh -huh. but what is the auxiliary? You didn't mention the auxiliary. So, Chris? Hassan. Aha, uh -huh. Hassan? Found. Found. Wood. A raft. Uh -huh. Good for a raft. For a raft. A raft. A raft, raft. is una eh, balsa. Raft. Chris, Chris no ha encontrado madera para una balsa. Okay. Very good. Number six, Kenny. The pupils. Pupils. Pupils son los alumnos. The pupils. And it's the negative. Pupils. Had. Aha, uh -huh, but it's negative. Kenny, can you see not? So the people, the pupils? No, have. Not no, have. Peoples haven't. Have not. Haven't. Aha, uh -huh, the pupils have the not. Haven't. Aha. Uh -huh. and, the, and the past participle of do? Did. No, did is the simple past. The past participle? Mm -hmm. It's on the other column. In the other column, it's on the other column. Don't. Aha, very good. The pupils haven't done their homework. Their homework, very good. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Eugenia? Uh, Nick can play football today. Okay, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to see the other groups, okay? Thanks for your help. No problem. I'm here for that, okay? We can play football today. Guys, how are you doing? A lot of things for her birthday party, but she hasn't made the cake. That's yes, nice. it's too. Yes. Uh -huh. as, Which one is it? As, what number? What bow, number? Bow. Number 12. Ah, number 12. Ah, okay. Let me see. May. Sandra. So the first one is Sandra. Teacher, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sandra? Number 12. Can you repeat number 12, Sandra? <laughs> uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead. No problem. Sandra has bought a uh -huh. lot of things for her. Her birthday party. Sandra has bought a lot of things for her birthday party. Very but good. But she hasn't made the cake yet okay excellent very good very good but okay. we were uh -huh. but, but we were discussed we were discussing about the 11 question okay now let's see 11 bill now tidy up tidy up means clean and organize okay yes okay, that yes. is the meaning of tidy up clean and organize so, Bill okay. has. has, exactly, and it's a regular verb. Tidied. 
I did, I did his case, but he really has tied doesn't doesn't wash. Tied it up. Tied it really up. has tied his case, but okay, very good. But tidy, tidy has to be t t i e d. Tidy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. But he. Make uh, sense. Bill has tidied up his cage. <laughs> but he. But he. Mm, doesn't wash. No. Hasn't wash. Okay. What is the auxiliary? No. What is the auxiliary that we are using in the present perfect? Have and has. So which one are you going to use here? Hasn't. Hasn't. Ah, but he hasn't. Hasn't washed. Washed. ED, right? The past tense is yeah. he hasn't washed the dishes yeah. yet. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Okay? Yes. Okay. okay, now unfortunately I have to break the rooms, the, the, the groups, okay? So we're gonna okay. go back to to work all together, okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay, okay. <laughs> what, is the, what is the other exercise? The other one is the question, but okay, uh, probably. Teacher, the mi microphone. The audio, the audio. Okay. I know that probably some of you didn't finish the exercise. Mm -hmm. And some of you probably finished the exercise. Is I okay? finished. Yes, no we finished. Okay, no problem because tomorrow we are all, all, all the class, we are going to practice this, all the class. But today okay. we have to do the other part of the class, okay? So we are going to practice. Okay. Tomorrow. Don't miss. Okay. Don't miss tomorrow's class because it's about practicing the present perfect and adverb clauses, reducing adverb clauses, okay? So, now, very good. So now I want you to, I want you to go to the book. You remember the book? You remember the book? Okay, if we go to page, if we go to page number, number two, 14, go to page 14, please. In the book, page 14. Page 14. ¿Qué pasa? Eso lo hemos costado. Yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah. no, no, he's come back. He's okay. Come back. Yeah, I'm right here again. Okay. Very good. Now, um, okay. I don't know. I don't know uh, who has the microphone on talking to another person. So if you are going to do that, just turn off the microphone. Okay. Because some students have told me that they feel <laughs> uncomfortable. Teacher, I can't understand what you say. Okay. okay, who has the... Kader. Kader, can you close can you your, your microphone? No. <laughs> Understand? Okay. Okay. So, no, 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 no. Hi, Turn off your microphone, please. Okay. Turn off. Okay. Okay, now, very good. Now, we will turn it on again. We will turn it on again, but uh, right now, I want you to go to the book. And this is what we're going to see, okay? Unit one, I will be able, that is on page 14, 
page 14 on the book. I hope that you have the book printed. That is the best choice. But if you don't have it printed, it's okay. So what are we going to learn today to describe the application of each step of, of a SWOT? Of a SWOT. Analysis. Good. When assessing a new product idea, yeah. perform a SWOT analysis to determine the feasibility of a new product. Okay? So when we have, when we want to test, test a new product idea, we need to perform this SWOT analysis to see if the product is feasible, factible. Okay? Mm -hmm. Very good. So we are going, after I check list, I'm going to break you into groups. Okay? And I want you that you answer this question. If you don't know, say, no, I don't know what is a SWOT analysis. I think it is, a, and then you give a, 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 an answer, even though you don't know. Is that clear? But you talk, you talk, because I'm going to break you into groups. Do you know what the step of the analysis of the letters in what represent? Turn off the microphone, please. Turn yes. off the microphone. So, do you know what? What a step of the analysis of the letters in SWOT? Okay, do you know what the yes. S, what the S means? What the W means? What the Yes, o I know. Yes, yeah. I know. Madeline, Madeline, turn off your microphone yes. for a minute. SWOT S in yeah, Spanish for that. Madeline, strengths, turn off. Strengths with... Yeah, but Madeline, hold on. Yes. Turn off your microphone. Turn off your microphone. For a moment, okay? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so you are going to say what each letter of SWAT means. The S, what represents, the W, what represents, the O, what represents, the T. If you don't know, it's okay. And have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? So if you have, you say yes. If you don't, you say, I don't know. So after I check this, you are going to answer those questions in group of three. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, very good. But first, I'm going to check okay, your attendance. So I need everybody to turn on their cameras and to turn on your microphones because I need to see you. Okay? Okay, okay very good. So I need to see you okay. and I need you that you say present. Okay, now Madeline, turn on your microphone. Yes, Rafael. Okay, very good. So, Yader Edemer. Present. Okay, very good. Blanca Estela Perez. Present. Present okay, teacher. Very good. Maria Eugenia Cruz de Magaña. Present teacher. Very good. Desi Anayensi Jovel. Present teacher. Very good. Oscar Eduardo Majano. Present. Very good. Raul Mauricio Rivera. Present. Very good. Nini Besaraí. Present. Okay, very good. Present. I know, I know that you are present. Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present. Okay, very good. Álvaro Enrique Rivas. Álvaro Enrique Alvaro. Rivas. No present. Alvaro. No present. Rafael René Molina. Present, sir. Okay, very good. Maria Adelina Araya. Present, teacher. Very good. Alicia Carolina Lopez. Pre uh, present. <clears throat> very good. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present, sir. Okay, very good. Cecilia Yamilet Fuentes. Not present right now. Okay, next. Uh, Daniel Osvaldo Perez. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Verónica Beatriz Mendoza. Present. Okay. Ana del Carmen Cortez de Núñez. Present. 
Okay, very good. Andrea, Alejandra, Alexandra, Flores, Chacón. Andrea, no present. Okay, Kenya, Johanna Perez. Kenya, Johanna Perez, turn on your microphone. And Vanessa, Alexandra, Arma, Rosales. Present. Okay, in Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Okay, so, okay, remember, five minutes, five minutes. You, if you know, say what you know. If you don't know, explain. I don't know because I don't know what SWOT is, but you talk. Is that clear? Don't stay quiet, okay? I'm going to break you into groups of three. Okay, so we are 15, so we're going to make three groups, okay? Five groups, five groups, okay? Here we go. Okay, go ahead, incorporate into the groups, please. Okay, go. Join. Join the groups, please. And you give your opinion, okay? You give your opinion. So turn off your turn on your microphones. Give your opinion. Very good. Veronica, get in. Okay, Bessie, get in. Bessie, Bessie, Alicia, Ana, Ani Nunez, very good. Daniel, Daniel, get in, get in the group. Okay, very good. Everybody's in. Okay, give your opinion. Go. This is five minutes, so you can talk. Okay? okay. So give your opinion. Okay. What is okay, teach. Have have you ever heard? Do you know what is SWOT? Yes, I heard. Ah, okay, tell us. Okay, tell us because I don't know. <laughs> um, it's, I don't know. No sé cómo se dice. Se usa el término. Término. How do you say término? The, term, term. the terms. Okay, the term is using for marketing. Okay. Ah, and okay. and it means means um in Spanish means fortaleza, debilidad, oportunidad, amenaza. Ah, and this is the word. This okay. Is the, uh, yes. This is the famous foda. In Spanish is foda. I, I okay. heard the okay. term. Now, very good. So here. Great. Okay, yeah. thank you, Vanessa. Now, let me help you. Do you know what the S? The S stands for? A strength. I don't strength. know how strength. So that means strength. strength. Yeah. Right? A strength. Fortaleza. Strength. Strength. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And w. W is weaknesses. 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 Yes. So that means oh, the, the opposite of the strength. Okay? Exactly. The opposite of opportunity. O is opportunities. Yes. Opportunities. Very good. And the T is strength. Threat. Okay. Threat. Like Halloween. No. Those are tricks. Ah, okay. Trick. Uh, trick, trick or trick. Okay. But, but it's mean threat. Amenaza or something like that. Amenaza. Yeah. Threat. Okay. Threat. Very good. Have you ever conducted? Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Okay, very good. Go ahead, keep on talking. Give your okay. opinion. Don't be quiet. Give your opinion. Okay. 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 I'm gonna have to leave you. I'm gonna see another group. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No problem. Hello. How are you today? Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Do you know what is the SWOT? No, yeah. I know. No. Uh -huh. Okay, now. Okay, so SWAT. The 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 word S, I mean the letter S stands for strength, right? A strength. 
Ah. Fortalezas. ¿Ok? Ah. The, opposite, the opposite of strength is weaknesses. Ah. Weaknesses. Ah. And the O stands for opportunities. Okay. Oportunidades. And the T, threats. So that means amenazas. So have you heard about that term in Spanish? In Spanish is the famous foda. Foda. Foda, no, huh? Fortaleza, that, so oportunidades, okay. debilidades y amenaza. Okay? In English is SWAT. Strength. Weaknesses, with opportunities, and, and threats. Threat. Threats, amenazas. Okay? So, have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Give your opinion, okay? I'm gonna leave you. Bye-bye. Mm. Okay. Bye, thank you. Okay. 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 For the moment, I, I never hear uh, about this. Do you remember hear about this in, in, in the work, Jader? For me, I, I made. We will have money. It's an opportunity to in, improve. Uh, improve my English is of other opportunity. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, do you know what S means? Yes. Okay. What is the meaning of the S? A strength. A strength, right? A strength, strength, fortalezas, and the W weaknesses. 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 The opposite. The opposite of the strength. Weaknesses. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Okay. And the O opportunities. Opportunity. Very good. And the it's T opposite. It's opposite to to stress. Stress. Threat. So those are threats, amenazas, threats. Threat. Yes, okay. Threat. Now, question. Give your opinion. Have you ever, have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Ninive, yes. anybody, everybody give an opinion. Okay, so go ahead and give your opinion. Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? Yes or no? And why? Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. Bye bye. <laughs> uh -huh. Give your opinion. Have you ever conducted a SWOT analysis? No. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Tell us, Beatrice. Yes. Beatrice, tell, tell him. Uh -huh. Tell us, Beatrice. You say yes. So, can you tell us the experience? Well, in my work, and when I was start to work, I made a yeah. A SWOT analysis. I make a, yeah, I make a, a SWOT analysis before to start to to work in in my actually job. Ah, okay, before very that, good, need... very good, Beatriz, very good. What about you, Nineveh? Have you mm. ever made a, Have you ever done a SWOT analysis in your life? Um, maybe not that in in every oh every, every, every step, step that uh, every step. the SWOT. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe uh, because in, 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 in now um, <laughs> right now in, forget about FODA. It now is SWAT. SWAT. Okay. SWAT. 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 The SWAT. Maybe in uh in uh in conditional form I use this. Well, for take a decision. Okay, very good. Yeah, that is correct. Because <laughs> not, only, not only you can do it in a company, you can do it in your life. You can see your strengths. Yes. You can see your weaknesses, yes. the opportunities <laughs> yes. that you have for something, and the threat that that represents. Okay, very good. Continue yeah. talking. I'll be, I have to go. Okay. 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 Hey, Madeline, give your opinion. Give your opinion. In my please. opinion, in my life, I had the opportunity to travel at the South, South America, and I 
uh, is uh, what what uh, number one is girl. Okay. Opportunities. Opportunities. Okay. Yes. Opportunity yes. is the O. The O means opportunities. And the S? The S means yes. strengths. Strengths. Right? Fortalezas. Strengths. Strengths. Fortalezas. Strengths. Uh -huh. The W, the opposite okay. of the strengths. Yes. yes. Witness. Witnesses. Witness. Okay. Witness. The opposite. And O, opportunities. And the opposite of opportunities, threats. Is okay? That is the famous yes. moda. Right? Have you ever, have you ever done a FODA, a, a SWOT analysis, not only in your company or with a product, but in your life? Have you ever yes, made yes. an analysis of the friend, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats? Yes. Yes. I'll give you one minute so you can talk about it, and then I'm going to go back to the room, okay? Go okay. ahead, one minute, give it. Okay. Give your opinion, please. I guess we, I have a... Okay, very good, very good. Okay, the page that I'm going to show you, that will be posted, that will send it by email tomorrow, okay? Okay. Madeline, you have to come back, Madeline. Okay. Okay, so this is the SWOT analysis, okay? As you can see, the SWOT analysis means a strength, Mm -hmm. And I send you this page. You remember? I send you this page. Okay. Yes. W, weaknesses, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay? So, now, SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Mm -hmm. And so a SWOT analysis is a technique for assessing. Assessing means evaluating. 
mm -hmm. for evaluating these four aspects of your business is advantage. And you can reduce the chances of failure. Failure means the opposite of success. Okay. You understand success? Mm -hmm. exit. Yes, exit. That's fracaso. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, exactly. By understanding what you're lacking. Lacking is what you don't have. What you don't have and eliminating hazards. Hazards are dangers. You understand mm -hmm. dangers? Mm -hmm. okay. That will otherwise catch your unawares. So that means that make you fail. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, quickly, trends. What advantages does your organization have? What do you do better than anyone else? What unique or lowest cost resources can you draw upon, upon the others can? So that means you can do that cheaper. You understand cheaper? Yes, you can yeah. do that yes. expensive than others. Mm -hmm. Others can do it, but are more expensive. So mm -hmm. you have a because you can do it less expensive. Is that mm -hmm. clear? Yes. What do people in your market see as your strength? What factors mean that you get that you get the sale? Okay, so those are strengths. For example, when you are competing to sell something. How do you know that you are the one that are going to get the sale? Uh, is your strength? Oh, because I have more resources. Is that clear? Yeah. What is your organization's yeah. unique selling proposition? So those are strengths. Expertise, experience, reputation, cost. When you have project management, speed of delivery, easy to use quality communication low risk processes you understand low risk bajo riesgo process mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay low risk processes procurement and supplier management procurement is like buying buying at acquiring so when you have a team that you can buy and you can supply okay you are very good and you have the people so you have a strength now, the opposite will be weaknesses, okay? Longer development time, so you take more time. You take more time to develop the product. Larger carbon footprint, that means it takes more. Costlier at low volume, so it costs more when you produce very few pieces. Capital intensive, low flexibility to change those are weaknesses when you have variable process tolerance so those are weaknesses is that clear yes. now yes very good opportunities enter a new market develop new product reduce costs add new clients expand to new geographical area launch marketing campaign hire new people, open new stores or locations, purchase competitor, increase quality of product, reduce risk, delivery, and raise the morale, the morale of the company. Threats, what are the threats? Please turn off your microphone. Okay, threats, new competitors, existing competitor expands, create new product, increasing supplier costs, decreasing market demand, production disruption or breakdown, increasing customer dissatisfaction, that's a threat, acts of God, loss of key people to competitors, so that means you have this a customer, this client, and they win with the competition, so you lost them. A bankruptcy of supplier, client dissatisfaction, customer inability to pay, that's a threat, okay? Very good. So, 
And then you can see positive internal environment and external environment. The positive are the strengths and the opportunity. And the negative, the weaknesses and the threat in the internal environment and on the external environment. Okay, so I will send you that page. I think I already sent you that page, right? Okay, so you can study it. Okay, now let's teacher, go back to the book. Teacher, teacher, when uh, when did you send this page? I don't know if I send it today with the with the advert clauses. Today you send it today, today. Yes. But at the chat. Uh, no, I send it to you email. Yes, email. Ah, yes, ah, email. Okay, okay, yeah? okay, okay. Okay, so I think you have it. So you can study it. Okay. okay. Vocabulary, because I, you know, I'm I'm not teaching you. I'm not teaching you to make a SWOT analysis. No, okay. I'm teaching you the vocabulary that is okay. in the SWOT analysis. Okay, so that is for you to review. Okay, so let's go back to the book. Okay. Teacher, yes. What is the meaning footprint? Footprints, footprints on planos. Footprints, okay, and blueprints. They also call it blueprints. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to page fourteen again. Now we are going to go to this conversation. Can you see the conversation? A speech masters is planning to open a new branch. Yes. You understand what is a branch? Sucursal. So a speech master is planning yes. to open a new branch. Mr. Rivas, the general manager, is meeting with a team to run a SWOT analysis on the new project. Okay, so listen to this conversation, please. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with this project. Right, let's describe the strengths that means the advantages we have over our competitors. So Jose says, we offer flexible schedules to adapt to our customers' busy agendas. So Mario says, Besides, we allow them to practice their public speaking skills since the first class. Then Mr. Riva says, please turn off your microphone. That's correct, Mario. After discussing our strengths, let's continue with our weaknesses. What are weaknesses about? Weaknesses are areas in which the corporations are competitively disadvantaged. In our case, a weakness might be the lack of parking space for a customer. You write again, Mario, before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers outside that could affect the company. Okay, questions about vocabulary. Question. You may read it again silently. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Please. Can you see? Can you see here in, in a bold? Bold is negrito. Can you see in bold letters? This is an uh, reduction, adverb reduction. Remember? After conducting a SWOT analysis after discussing our strengths. So these are reduction of, uh, of uh, uh, adverb clauses. Before making a decision, so these are reduced adverb clauses. Okay, so go ahead, read them. And tell me, do you have any questions? No. No questions? Okay, so look. No are, questions. Are you sure? No questions about yes. vocabulary? No questions, teacher. Okay, so you see we have three people here. Mr. Rivas, Mario, and Jose. Mr. Rivas, Mario, and Jose. 
So I'm going to break you down again in groups of three. And you are going to role play each role. So in the first one, probably you're going to be Mr. Rivas. When you finish the conversation, role play in the conversation, you switch. And in the second time that you are going to practice the conversation, you are going to be Mario. Okay. Okay. And yeah, then that's you role play in the second conversation, in the third conversation, now you're going to role play Jose. Okay. okay. And then you go ahead. Okay. So, very good. You understand. Okay. So, role play the conversation. Let me break you into groups. Yeah. Questions? Okay. So, no we, are questions. we are going to make five groups okay so we are going to make five groups okay there you go join join please let me see how many are we wait 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 12 Okay, Annie, Raul, and Kenya. So go ahead and role play the conversation, please. Okay. Hello, turn on your microphones, please. Annie, turn on your microphone. Teacher. Yes. I must to go. Because it's late. Okay. Okay, Annie. That's good. Okay. No problem. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. So Bessie, you're gonna be Miss Mr. Rivas, Kenya. You're gonna be Mario, and Rafael. You're gonna be Jose. Okay. Go ahead. Go. Okay. So. We are looking for the conversation teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Take your we time. Don't... Teacher. Remember, I told you to download the books and especially print the books. Okay, so you can have it physically. It's easier. Okay? Mm. I will send you... Okay, so while you prepare, I'm going to go to I... another group. Okay, I'm going to check another group. Yes. Okay. I can send you a copy. In our case, a witness may, may be the lack of parking space for our customer. You're right, again, okay. Mario. Before making a decision, he still needs to go over the opportunity. Um, Yader, you have to, Yader, you have to put the, the mic the microphone closer so we can hear you better. Uh -huh. Closer, closer. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Now we can hear you better. But you are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunity and treat or danger outside that could affect the company. Okay. okay, we change. We change. Okay, okay. Uh, suggestion, suggestion. Like, for example, you can go in order so everybody participate because we have three roles and you are four. So, for example, Mr. Rivas, Mario, Jose. When you finish that conversation, Mr. Rivas, Mario, Jose. When you finish that conversation, Mr. Rivas is Raul, uh, Daniel is. Uh, Mario and Yader is Jose. And then you go around until you do all the roles. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, because okay. you are four, not three. Okay, go ahead. Keep practicing. Okay. Okay. Oh, Advantages. In our case, uh, weaknesses might be the lack of parking space for our customers. 
you write again, Mark. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and risk or danger outside that could affect the company. That's right. So I'm going to start now with Mr. Rivas. Okay, only one uh, pronunciation uh, uh, feedback. Advantages. Advantages. Okay, Advantage. repeat after me. Advantages. 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 Okay, Teacher. very good. Now switch roles. Very good. Okay. Switch roles. Okay. 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 I'm start. Okay. I'm I will. I will be. I know it will be Mario. <laughs> Remember that you have to play all the roles, all of you. Yes. Okay. Very good. I'm gonna leave you. Bye bye. Right, teacher. Well, let's get started. After conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or stop with the customer. This agent. Decide we allow them to practice their public speaking skill sign this first class that's correct that's correct mario after discussing our strengths uh, let's continue with our witnesses what are witness about witness uh, witnesses are area in which the corporation are competitive belly uh, disadvantage in, in our case, a uh, witness might be the lack of biking space for our customers. You are right again, Mario. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats or dangers of sites that could affect the company. Ooh. Okay, yeah. do you finish? Do you yeah. finish? Yeah. Okay, finish. one pronunciation yeah. feedback. Repeat after yeah. me. Disadvantages. Repeat after me. Disadvantages. 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 Exactly. Disadvantages. Okay. Go ahead. Role play. Go ahead. I'm going to leave you. Bye bye. Bye. Again. Again. Blanking. I am Rivas. Para nuestros clientes. Tiene razón. Tú tienes razón, Mario. Antes de hacer tomar una decisión, nosotros necesitamos ir a conocer las oportunidades y las amenazas que nos perjudiquen, de que peligra fuera, afuera, que podrían afectar la compañía. Okay, we finished. Remember, remember <laughs> not Spanish, not Spanish. <laughs> you are going to explain, a, explain in English. Explain in English. Because that I know is difficult. Yes, yeah, it's difficult, but you have to do it. No, don't translate. Don't translate. You go ahead and try to try to explain whatever you want, try to explain it in English. Why? Okay. Because it's going to be hard. Yeah, that's what we want. That is hard, but you are doing it. Okay. okay? Because there will be a time that it won't be hard. It will be easy. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you are practicing. But if we okay. talk Spanish, like I told you, 20 years in Los Angeles and come back, never spoke English. Okay? Because we spoke Spanish. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, very We're good. We're finished. Okay, I'm going to break the the groups, okay? And I'm going to bring it back. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, very good, guys. Okay, very good. Did you practice all the roles? Yeah. Yes, we had the opportunity. Yes. Okay, very yes. good. Now, let's go back to the, okay. Uh, Oscar Mahano, Beatriz, Bessie, Kenya, let me see. Andrea, Alexandra, is not here. Uh, Cecilia is not here. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the book. Okay, now in the book, we have this pair work. Write the correct word before its definition. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this. Okay, and you tell me. Okay, now I will give you two minutes. In those two minutes, you're gonna tell me, provide an analysis of the company's advantages over its competitors. What is that? Strengths? Opportunities. Opportunities or threats? And for each one, you're gonna put what is each one, okay? So you have two minutes, go. Okay, think, don't tell me yet, think. Read all of them and place the right term on the right definition, please. You finish? Yes, I finished. Okay, now I'm going to put you in pairs. So, I'm going to put you in pairs so you can discuss that. You can share your answers. So you, you, you are going to be with your partner. I think this is strength. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I, okay, and you discuss, okay? I'm going to give you two minutes, okay, to do that. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Okay, so here we have 19, 18, so I'm going to make nine groups, okay? Okay, go. Some of you in pairs, some of you in trios. So you discuss what is each. Go ahead, join, join. Okay, discuss then. Okay, I recommend, you, I recommend you that you read the definition Read the definition and then say what is it. Okay, so you can practice also talking. Okay, read the definition okay. and then the term. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Go ahead. I'm going to go okay. to the other groups. Okay, go ahead. Keep on working. Okay, thank you. Okay. Can, can you read it? Yes, thank yeah, you. Read the definition. Read the definition. Okay, okay. I will read the number one, okay? Okay, bro. Number one, it says, provide an analysis of the company's advantages or its comp... Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Hello, uh, hello teacher. Hello, teacher. Okay, one recommendation. Read, read the definition, one of you. Okay. Okay, each, each, each of you read one definition and you say what it is. And if you agree, perfect, you go to the next one. You don't agree, you call me, okay? Okay. That clear? Okay, yes, but read the definition. You say provide an analysis of the company so you improve your speaking too, okay? Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 My, the, the meaning of a strength is... Um, I have here the, the meaning. No. For, because number three, for me, in Spanish, no le sacan provecho, <laughs> but I don't but know. Not Spanish, not Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now, number... One recommendation. It's a confusion. Yeah, one recommendation. Read, read the definition and you give what you think is the term. For example, strength. But you read the definition, then the, your partner reads the next one. Consider areas in which, and then you say, ah, I think this is opportunities and whatever. Is that clear? Okay. So read the definition so you practice talking, okay? Okay. I'm going to leave you. Do you have any questions? Teacher, have yes. uh, the pronunciation strict strength. Fortalezas? A strength. A strength. Like, like strength. F okay, I'm gonna go. Wait, wait. Can you see me? Can you see me? Look at this. Yes. That is a strength. A strength. Uh, a strength. A strength. A strength. A strength. A strength. Uh -huh. El, that is the pronunciation of the TH. Esa es la pronunciación de la TH sin, eh, muda. Strength. Y, la forma es strength. Strength. Yes. Strength. 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 Very good. Strength. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, see you later. Okay. okay. Hello, teacher. We are ready, teacher. Yes, we are Your ready. microphone is off. Okay, now, do you read each definition? Like, for example, yes. you read the first definition and you say, ah, this is a strength. You read, okay. like, uh, Yadé read the second definition and he say, oh, this is opportunity. And Rafael reads the next definition and he say, oh, this is Thread. Okay, so you can practice talking to and saying the definition. All right. Okay, give you thirty seconds to do that. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. Hi, teacher. Back. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. Okay, very good. Now, welcome back. Yes. Now, uh, one more activity that is also in groups. So let's go back to the book. And on page 16, you remember these are the how to use reduce adverb clauses of time. We already did this page. So you're going to come to this page. 
your turn. So you are going, no, no, we are going to do that tomorrow, okay? I want you to, to see this video, okay? That I have it right here. I want you to see this video, please. I don't see. Wait, wait. Where I have the video? The book is freeze and the... Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. The video is coming. Okay, here it is. Okay, you will see it in a minute, okay? Just give me some time. It's loading. Okay, great. Can you see so it? In this lesson, our goal would be no. to learn. No. 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 Okay, yeah, but it's no. Simple, right? No watch. Salmon is Starbucks, the well-known okay. U.S. coffee company and coffee house chain. Okay, no problem. It was okay, no problem. In a minute, you will see it, okay? Here we go. Okay, there you go. Yes. Okay, great. So in this lesson, our goal would be to apply the SWOT framework in practice. Shouldn't be that difficult, right? The company will examine its Starbucks, the well-known U.S. coffee company and coffee house chain. It was founded in Seattle in 1971 and operates in several countries around the world. Let's start with the company's strengths. First, almost everyone knows its brand, right? So it definitely has a strong brand recognition. Starbucks has been proclaimed the most recognized coffee brand in the world, quite an advantage regarding other companies in the industry. The firm's brand is one offering of a differentiated product to customers, which is coherent with its strategy and pricing. Clients have expressed that they love the atmosphere in Starbucks coffee houses. They can use free Wi-Fi, and enjoy the coffee drinking experience to the fullest. The company owns thousands of outlets around the world, and its clients can find it even when traveling overseas. That's a strong advantage, as it ensures loyal clients can remain such even overseas. And finally, Starbucks supply chain management ensures the quality of coffee served to customers is excellent. The company chooses its suppliers carefully, which improves the quality of its products and ensures clients receive a super coffee experience. This is another choice in sync with its differentiation strategy. Okay, very good. Let's... Okay, so what you can see are the uh, strengths of uh, Starbucks. A strong brand recognition. Everybody knows Starbucks. Have you heard about a Starbucks? Yes, right? Yes. Clients love the yes. atmosphere in a Starbucks. And a Starbucks is printed all over the world. Now, clients love the atmosphere. Some people go drink coffee and they have free Wi-Fi. Superb supply chain management. So those are the strengths. Now she's gonna explain the weaknesses. Take off our rosy glasses and consider some of the firm's weaknesses. One could argue Starbucks offers the same product in all countries where it operates. It does not customize it according to the different tastes of people in different geographies. For some customers, this is an issue, and they prefer competitor products tailored to their specific geographical preferences. In addition, Starbucks has a premium price policy, which is not in line with most customers' expectations. Not all countries have enough middle and high income class individuals who can afford to pay extra for their coffee. Weakness number three would be the high employee turnover that the chain's coffee shops have. It is difficult to serve coffee as a premium product when the company's baristas have been on the job for only a couple of weeks. In terms of opportunities. Okay, so weaknesses. He says right here, product is not customized to local tastes. For example, if you go to England, in England, people prefer tea. So you see, is a weakness that in England, a Starbucks doesn't sell tea. Is that clear? Not yes. easy, affordable in all countries. Like for example here, 
it's very expensive to, to buy a cup of coffee, right, at a Starbucks. So can you do it every day? No way, right? So that is a weakness. And high employee turnover. Do you understand what is turnover? That the employees yes. don't last very long in their job. They leave. Okay, so that is a turnover. Are we clear? Hello, are we clear? Nobody answers. Are we clear? Les quedó claro? Maybe in Spanish. Yes. Are you sleeping? <laughs> okay, opportunities. Yes, yes sir. Okay, yes. opportunities. Yes. Yes. So what is the meaning of affordable? Affordable is que es costeable. Okay, so you see when it says not easy, affordable in all countries, is like for example, can you have a <laughs> good night? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's very expensive. Sometimes it's very expensive to buy a Starbucks coffee. Correct? Mm -hmm. so, yes. Very expensive. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so it's not affordable. Opportunities. Here we go. Starbucks can actually mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. Sure, but we can we can watch the video. Sure, sure, you. Can you see the video? video? No. 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 Okay, okay. No. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna stop it. No problem. We hear another conversation. The background. The video, where is the video? Right here. Now, let me see. Starbucks, right here. Okay, I'm gonna put it by up to right here, okay? Okay. As individuals who can afford to pay extra for their coffee. Weakness number three, the high employee turnover that the chain's coffee shops have. It is difficult to serve coffee as a premium product when the company's baristas have been on the job for only a couple of weeks. In terms of opportunities, we can say the following. Starbucks can access new countries easily. It simply has to apply its existing business model in these new geographies. Emerging markets can be a great source of growth for the company. Starbucks has also entered agreements within the entertainment industry and partnered with movie producing companies. That can be a great opportunity for the firm too. One of the biggest threats for Starbucks is the saturation of the American market, which is where most of its outlets are located. Consumers are increasingly invested in healthier lifestyle and some substitute products are better positioned to capture the attention of the health conscious clientele. Okay, we'll stop here. This is what a SWOT analysis looks like in practice. The depth of the observation. Okay, so that is the SWOT analysis, right? On a product. Okay, now let me check the list. Yader? Yader? Present. Okay, uh, Blanca Estela Perez. Present, teacher. Maria Eugenia Cruz, thank you. Maria Eugenia Cruz. Present. Very good. Present. Bessie. And again, present, okay, present teacher good. Oscar Eduardo Mahano. Present. Okay, very good. Raul Mauricio Rivera. Present. Present. Ninive. Present. Marta Beatriz Alegría. Present. Álvaro Enrique. Absent. Rafael. Present. Ah, present. Álvaro. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Rafael. Nice to hear you. <laughs> Rafael present, Rene teacher. Molina. Pres, present teacher. Present. Okay, very good. Maria Carolina Araya. Pareto. Present teacher. Very good. Alicia Carolina Lopez. Present. Very good. Omar. Bravo, Mike. Osman present. Enrique Hernandez. Present teacher. Very good. Eh, Cecilia. Absent. Daniel Osvaldo Perez Aguilar. Present. Very good. Veronica Beatriz Mendoza. Present. Very good. Ana del Carmen left. Okay. Eh, Andrea Alexandra Flores Chacón. 
absent. Okay, Kenya, Johanna Perez Perez. Present. Very good. And Vanessa Alejandra Arma Rosales. Present. Okay, now for tomorrow, think about a product. Think about a product mm -hmm. that you want to make the SWOT analysis. Like they okay. make the SWOT analysis on a Starbucks. Tomorrow, you are going to make the SWOT analysis on a product, okay? That you select, that you select. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Okay, yep. now. Yes. Keep practicing, keep practicing on the platform. Do the task. And mm -hmm. participate in the forum, please. Okay, and in the links, go to the links, go to the links, and try to do the exercises. Okay, okay, that will make you, you know, a better speaker. Okay, any questions? No, sir. teacher. No, sir. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna let you go, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for okay. your uh, time. Okay. And see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. 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 Everybody, good night. That's it. See you tomorrow. Yes. Good night. I call her. Your I call sister her. sister doesn't send me letter. Okay, I told her to send you an email, a minimum, okay? Please, please. Okay, very good. Bye-bye. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.